Speed rail. We have our rookie of the year, Hunter. As you saw, he went against our boy Zay. Zay, we love you. But he beat Zay. You had a chance to get your uh, opportunity. trash. Zay. It wasn't even close. <laughs> it, it wasn't even close. I think I, wait, I beat him by like two minutes. <laughs> Sorry, Zay. I love you. Now you can make Zay pick up the shaker chains right now. Okay, good. Like, he, he's, just, he's, he's, now, he's a photographer. So, uh, but you had a chance to also get an opportunity to start bartending at Sideshow. Yeah. And that was your first time getting into the industry. Then you ended up moving to a new city as soon as you got your first bartending job. So you didn't really get a chance to really develop a strong foundation. And so now that you're in Austin, go ahead, give the people an update. What's been happening since you've been here in Austin? Man, well, I feel like I should explain what happened in Houston first. You know, I, uh, <laughs> I love Sideshow. I do. I love the people I worked with. My coworkers are absolutely amazing. I trained with probably the best people that could have trained me at the time. No joke. I had Danny around me. Q was, you know, was a huge influence on me to become a bartender. Uh, I was around Roman a lot, around Jamal a lot, and they were huge influences on you know how I bartended, um, and I had fun, man. I, I had a blast, maybe yeah, too we, much fun. We saw, yeah. But uh, yeah, <laughs> and uh, you know I, I saw the state uh, that sideshow was going, and I, I saw the the money going down and the employees going down, and uh, no joke, the week I left, there was an ownership change, and then two weeks later, it's gone. The bar I was working at was gone. Uh, it's a shame. I, I did see it coming, but it is what it is. And now I'm over here in Austin, making new family out here. Uh, can't forget about Houston ever. I mean, no joke. I visited there last weekend, and everyone was so happy to see me there. I got to see so many of the old people I used to work with, and uh, it was pretty badass. But now I'm Austin. I'm trying to find a new job right now. I'm in free agency currently, yeah. uh, and I'm looking to be picked up by somewhere new that can handle the amount of energy <laughs> I have. Um, it, it, it ain't been easy, um, but I'm ex I'm so excited to get back into it, especially with speed rails, dude. I'm speed rails. <laughs> we'll get we'll get your job. I told you that. The thing is, and what I liked about Hunter is Hunter was connected to me by a venue owner that I worked with on an event project. He was like Hunter was a dog of a promoter for me. And after working with other venue managers, they all have a problem with their bartenders promoting. I'm like, oh, you like to promote? Yeah. And then you're like, all right, cool. We changed numbers. I didn't even hit you up. You did the follow up call the next day, like, yo, yeah. John, just letting you know I'm tapping in. And he's like, yo, what do you need? And then you started reaching out, doing other things just on your own. I was like, all right, you got that dog in you. So at that point, I was able to go vouch for you because I think in this new age of industries, I'm talking about these bars need to start having more bartenders like you where they're going out there. And I'm trying to get people in at the same time, too. You're 21, 22. So you got all the energy. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You can party till 5 a.m. and then wake up and work a 14-hour shift. Absolutely. So now with you being here, I guess from a consumer standpoint, what has been the difference between Houston and Austin and the bar scenes and cultures? I heard um, they don't take shots here. Oh, uh, they take shots. Okay. <laughs> no, uh, and if they don't, I do. Um, <laughs> so the promotion standpoint by itself is vastly different from Houston. Vastly. My first time on 6th Street, I realized it immediately. The promoters in Houston all use flyers. They use digital media. They use mouth-to-mouth uh, -mouth communication or you know texting each other. Uh, Austin, you walk on the street and you are getting pulled over on the side of the road. Hey, come get a free shot from me right now. And uh, that's how it is. If you walk down you know, 6th Street on a dead night, you will be grabbed and pulled into every bar that you pass by. Mm -hmm. The promoters are outside. The mm -hmm. promoters aren't inside the building. The promoters are standing right outside the building, grabbing people, pulling people in. It's different. It's a huge change. You know, mm -hmm. Flyers don't really exist out here. I haven't seen a single Austin Flyer since I've been here. I haven't. Mm -hmm. uh, what would you say their social media promotion standpoints are like? I, I, man, I, I haven't seen anything. So I've it's, it's looking, just on the, on the ground. It is all in person. Mm. It is, it is, you know, like nineties tactics getting people into <laughs> bars, dude. And I'll tell you, I mean, it works to an extent, you know, you get the people in, they get their free shot, but 80% of the time they get the free shot and they dip. Mm. They're out. Um, so I, I definitely think that Austin needs to pick up a little bit of what Houston does. I think cause Houston is so big. Motion. We have to, we don't see people. We don't. Yeah, I mean, genuinely. We got to, like, use birds and all that type of stuff. Yeah, yeah. They throw rocks at people. <laughs> they cross the street. They just, throw rocks just look at, at us. Just look at <laughs> us. I get paid for Fire. looks. <laughs> I saw I saw a dude on 6th Street the other day. I can't remember what bar it was. He had a big sign with an arrow. Yeah. And he was just like, come in here, you know? <laughs> it's, you know, you don't, you don't see that in Houston. You don't. And so that also lends to finding a job, too, because Houston is so digitally present. It makes it easier to, like, oh, just absolutely. do shoot DMs and pick up shifts. And guess yeah. bartending is very hot out here. So what has been your strategies, whether they work or not, in getting jobs out here in Austin so people know what not to do? Uh, well, man, uh, it's been hard to get in communication with people. Uh, I've gotten in contact with a few bar owners, bar managers. They don't answer. 
Um, they, they don't check their phones very often. You got to go in person. Mm -hmm. Um, and you know, there was, there's nights where I will dedicate myself to go to the domain or going to sixth street, E six, rainy six, whatever it is. And I will walk that entire bar, bar to bar. Hey, y'all need somebody. Hey, what are y'all doing? You know, you need this, you need this. I can do this for you. Um, it's been, it's been a slow grind, but I've definitely gotten in contact with a lot of people in Austin that I think are going to definitely help down the road. Mm -hmm. Um, but as far as right now, it's on free agency. So. Take that as you will. <laughs> so one of the things that I always tell people, if you want to get a job at a bar, I think you got to recognize that you are also interviewing the bars. Absolutely. So it's like, instead of going spreading wide, it's like narrow in. It's like, okay, I got these two places that I want to work at. Yeah. And after that, you go there every single day. You become friends with everybody. You create a champion within the building. So that way, when it's time, it's like, yo, man, you know I'm in here. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, let me pick up a shift. Like Susie's going on vacation. She's been telling me about it for the past three weeks. Let me just go ahead and pick those shifts up really quick. So I think... Anybody move to a new city, that's where it is. Find those places you want to work at, a place that aligns with your vibe, music, look, aesthetic, all that type of stuff, and just triple down. Court it like you would a girl. Oh, it's absolutely. like, yo, I'm checking in on you. Happy birthday. <laughs> Anniversary. <laughs> that's all you guys just having you host. Yeah, right? I brought donuts. <laughs> <laughs> so, welcome back. Speed Rail Season 3. Oh, man. I got something to say, bro. Oh. So, so back to Hunter, and I just want to say, because I've talked to Benny, I've talked to Danny, I've talked to Jamal, and, like, we all give Hunter, you know, high-energy jokes, and we all, would, you know, Hunter's a damn good worker. I have not heard one person say one negative thing about Hunter at all. So I just want to put that out there. He is a free agent that. for any of these Austin places looking. So just, you know, for anybody I, looking for any type of, you know, work, my boy right there. I appreciate that a lot. I, I do. I, you know, whenever I, I get a new job or I, I get into somewhere, I, I put my all into it, man. Got and, that country uh, boy out there. They don't know that you wear boots all the time. Uh, yeah, they don't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, from, I'm from Belleville. I'm <laughs> on a farm. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of work don't mean nothing to me. And uh, I, I, I love it. You know, I love getting down to the nitty gritty. And as soon as I step into a place, the first thing I want to do is, you know, establish, you know, what my role is there and how can I help the place get better? Because me helping the place get better increases how it treats me too. You know, as soon as I got to Sideshow, I walked in, I was like, hey, let's do this, let's do this. Hey, let's get events going. I became event manager there. I ran their TikTok in my first two weeks working there. I want everywhere that I work to be better than it is when I first arrived. I think that's so important. Fundamentals, ex-athlete. Oh yeah, man, See, dude. I mean, every time, dog, every time, man. Well, it is. Welcome back, baby. Hey, uh, I can't wait to be the underdog again since I'm only four months into bartending and I'm ready to crush everyone again. Oh, so, hey, looking uh, forward to it, guys. <laughs>